I'm here with Thiago Pilot at the London leg of the Talk Desk CX Tour. I believe this is the this is the first time you've taken the CX Tour outside of North America. True, uh, it's the first time we are outside North America, London. We are super excited, and the next one is in Lisbon, which is our hometown. Oh, we're very privileged to have you here in London. What, what's the idea behind the tour? What, what what are you trying to get across to to your partners and, and customers in attendance? You know, the idea about the tour is to to get CX people together. It's it's a small a small gathering where everyone gets together. They talk about CX. They talk a little bit about TalkDesk and really spread the word of everything we are doing. What's happening in the industry? Um, AI is a big topic. So it's really a get together with a small group of people. During your keynote this morning, you were talking about the, the three pillars of sort of the, the talk desk ethos. Uh, and one of those was, was innovation. And you guys innovate incredibly rapidly. It's difficult for us to keep up. I think you were saying in 2018, you've over 600 different feature updates. Uh, and there's there's more innovation. You've released a new product for the for the London leg today. Mm -hmm. We did. So we we are big on innovation. More than half of the company is engineering. So we have more almost 500 engineers at this point. Um, today we launched what we call hybrid spaces, and the way it works is as we go more up market with companies like Accenture, TAP, and a big airline in Europe, um, they ask a lot more about privacy and security. So hybrid spaces, pretty much what it does is allows you to have part of TalkDesk in a private cloud. So the recordings can be in a private cloud, the data can be in a private cloud, and that way you control um, your IT compliance, you control your security, flags, so anything you need will be um, in a private cloud and the rest on a public cloud. So you have kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah, and that's a, re that's a really important factor, isn't it? Because obviously talk desk, your success is, is built on that public cloud, super flexibility, highly you know, scalable uh, and, and reactionary. But adding that that hybrid option in terms of talk, talk desk hybrid spaces allows businesses to basically they can divide as they see fit can't they and have some things in a private cloud and some in, in private correct so we keep the same flexibility that talk desk offers now so even with hybrid spaces you can scale up and down as much as you want you can move countries you can have the data in a specific country like canada uk um, germany but at the same time we have all the advantages of fast-paced innovation, um, scale up and down that we have from the public cloud. So it's really the best of both worlds. And some companies cannot live um, fully on, on, a, on a public cloud. So this, this works very well for everyone. And, and just finally, it was interesting from an innovation perspective, and, and you were explaining how hybrid spaces has come about, and that you're talking about essentially, you know, that is completely customer feedback led. You know, mm -hmm. th that's something that customers have requested from you. you. You've developed it for them, and now you can deploy that for other customers. Correct. So we work with Accenture in some big projects, some big, big deployments. And as we started going more and more up market, they started asking uh, private, private clouds. But at the, the same way, we wanted to make it in a way that was simple and easy to manage because private cloud is very complex right now. So that's why we launched hybrid spaces. And then we started talking with customers. And surprisingly, in less than six months, literally, we have more than 30 customers now using the platform, uh, the, the hybrid spaces functionality. Um, but yeah, everything pretty much we do, not everything, but a big part of it is, is led by customers. I've picked your brain in the past about the, the relevance of AI within, within customer experience, and that's something that's very important to, to you guys at TalkDesk, isn't it? Of course, of course. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about um, some stats around the contact center, and I highlight three things. One why every single call is important. We cannot sample anymore. We have to look at the entire data. Number two, the real-time interaction is quite important. Real-time understanding and real-time reaction to the entire interaction. And the last one, how agent is very important in this scenario. And I argue that AI can play an important role on four things. Enhance human intelligence, optimize human intelligence, simulate, and eventually replace. So that's the goal of AI in contact center. So the less expertise you have as an agent, you'll be replaced by all chatbots and virtual agents. The more expertise you have, you're going to stay longer. That's the entire discussion of tonight. And then I'm going to introduce two things. One would be the agent assist that we just launched. And also, I show that IVR optimization is quite important and how IVR optimization people understanding 
and agent assist come together to deliver a unique experience for the customer. Yeah, and when we've spoken before, you're able to enable these developments now, and you, you were explaining to me that the, the reason for that is the amount of data that you're able to glean from a, from a contact center environment in terms of customer data, but also how the, the customer service is provided to, to end customers. Very true, very true. Um, also, as part of the talk, I show why data is quite important. If you don't have access to data, basically you cannot do much. But after data, it's quite important that you actually provide context. You have to extract insight out of data. That insight is quite relevant to what you do. Because data points are like millions of data points. And you may just uh, cannot find a pattern if, if you just go through the data and do not transfer the data to insight. Otherwise, you cannot act based on that one. So from data, you extract context, you provide insight, and then at last a step, AI can sit on top of that one and provide real value to your customers, basically. Yeah, so, so the real, the difficulty there is finding that crucial data, isn't it, compared to the, the white noise of the background data? Uh, very true, very true. So in past, in past maybe six months to so last year, we pushed a lot to providing a data platform. Because data is there, but you have to be able to transfer data to a common platform that every single product at Talktest can actually use that data. We have spent a lot of time for, for the, on that direction. Now we have, we have data platform. We have data is accessible. Now we can build everything on top of the data. And of course, as you said, um, there are lots of noise. And you're, basically your algorithm has to be smart enough to understand what kind of data is important, what kind of data is not important, what is noise, what's the signal. And you try to maximize the ratio of signal to noise. And that's something at TalkDesk that you really focus on, isn't it? That you talked about Agent Assist, which you've just released. AI underpins every aspect of the platform, doesn't it? It's not something that you know you expect customers to leverage. It's it's built into every different facet of, of the portfolio. Very true. So that, that was a big decision we made. The idea was that should we go and build a product such as Einstein that sells for SaaS, for example, or we, we are not going that route. Basically, we decided that AI is a platform, is a layer within the entire talk test. So it's API based. So every product team, they're building their product, and we tell them, hey, you know what, you can you make that product smarter. Agent Assist is there. Uh, how we can make that Agent Assist smarter, that's the AI. Uh, could be a smart dialer, the dialer is there. IQ level, the, the, the AI level, make the dialer even more smarter. IV optimization, the same. You can optimize your IVR, but you can use IQ and AI to make it even more optimized.